I was born in Kenya. While growing up, I never imagined that one day I would walk in Japan or speak in such a forum. But here we are. I take it as both privilege and opportunity. My name is Lynette Musimbi Adulu from Porters Corporation in Japan. Welcome and thank you very much for joining this session. Today, I will share with you some opportunities that you can explore for you to win with the acceleration of digital transformation in recruitment. First, I'll share about the acceleration of digital transformation from the perspective of recruitment business. Then look at the challenges faced in the journey of digital transformation, some success stories, and finally share some tips for increasing productivity in recruitment. But before getting into today's topic, let me give you a brief introduction about our company. A Porters Corporation was founded in 2001 and is a Japanese software company with headquarters in Tokyo, a branch office in Osaka, and a subsidiary in Singapore. Uh, the main product is HR Business Cloud, which is a comprehensive cloud-based applicant tracking system, CRM, for recruitment business to maximize efficiency and increase productivity. These are the founders of Porters Corporation. Our company has a client base of more than 1,500 companies in Japan and overseas. We have presence in 11 countries overseas. These are some of our clients. Now, back to the main topic. There are many definitions of digital transformation. First from Wikipedia, which states that the adoption of digital technology by a company. A second is from Salesforce, which states that digital transformation is the process of using digital technologies to create new or modify existing business processes, culture, and customer experience to meet changing businesses and market requirements. The key points here being changing businesses and market requirements. That means that di digital transformation is a journey without a definite ending. In recruitment business, Digital transformation includes, but not limited to, implementation of data management tool, automation of processes, cloud services, and work from home system, just to name a few. Recruitment heavily relies on meeting with clients and candidates, but most importantly, building relationships. At the front end, building relationship happens and it involves client meetings, candidate meetings, email exchanges, and phone conversation. At the back end, activities to coordinate the relationships happen. And that is documentation, task management, internal meetings, reporting, and many others. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a shift to digital transformation became necessary because all these processes had to be managed remotely. Work from home has become a new normal. Probably more changes in working style may continue to happen. We may not know what will happen in the future. However, certainly we know businesses need to perform to remain relevant in the market. And also technology will keep on evolving. I would like to highlight some data on digital transformation. According to a survey conducted by GRID in 12 countries, there was 72% increase in companies that adopted digital transformation in 2021. And according to the Thailand Digital Transformation Survey conducted by Deloitte, 56% of the surveyed companies have already transitioned to digital adoption stage from evolution stage compared to 12% before the pandemic. The acceleration speed is high. However, it is not without challenges. 
In the case of work from home in recruitment, the shift to remote working has been implemented, but everything is not perfect because businesses need to maintain high performance amidst the challenges that they are facing. Some of these challenges are as highlighted above. I will address a few of them individually and give examples just to have a better understanding of what kind of challenges they are. Uh, the first one is a lot of time being spent on data entry. Digital transformation is meant to improve business process. However, the change may bring in a new problem of too much time being spent on data entry, which could potentially hurt the company because if more time is spent on this one task that is not directly linked to revenue generation, then it means less time is being spent on talking to clients and candidates. Uh, the second example is accumulated data, but not utilized. That means that a system is in place, it's being used for recording the candidate data, the client data, and all other information related to recruitment. However, some of the processes or some of activities are still being done manually. For example, reports still being manually generated, KPI being manually tracked, and many other manual activities. In reality, it's just data being stored in a box that makes it like opportunities being locked up in a box. And the third scenario is about flexibility. Before everything was being done in analog way. And then finally you have a system implemented. Unfortunately, you realize that you cannot fully utilize the system for your business because when you want to customize it to fit your business flow, you realize you cannot do it. You wish to link it with other media or reconfigure some of the pages, but you're not able to freely do it. So it ends up not working for your business. Are there possible solutions to these uh, problems? I'll give you an example of the clients from Porters Corporation who, ha who have been using HR Business Cloud. Our clients have experienced work efficiency and increased productivity leading to business growth. And here are some of the things that they've said about uh, using HR Business Cloud. That their recruitment division achieved an increase or in revenue to 197% as compared to the previous year. Another company said that they reduced the time and effort of data entry and feel that productivity had improved. Also, another company said that the time required for managing tasks that took five hours got reduced to a tenth of time. And also, that the quality of the output had improved because the work that had variations among the consultants have now become uniform. Now I will look into uh, individual companies uh, to see what kind of challenges they had and what kind of improvements or results they got after implementing HR Business Cloud. Our uh, first case is the case of Persona, Thailand. At first, they had challenges that the system was outdated. Uh, they were dealing with too much unnecessary manual work. They could not perform matching or manage KPI, and they had difficulty managing the data. After implementing HR Business Cloud, they were able to monitor KPI in real time, which has increased their work efficiency. And they've been able to replicate high performing consultants activities to increase general performance of all the consultants. And the second company I would like to uh, introduce to you is Rira Coin Thailand. So before they had challenges uh, with data management, they could not manage all the resumes centrally. They could not track well the recruitment processes and they needed a highly scalable system that they could customize to facilitate overseas expansion. They implemented HR Business Cloud. And after that, they were able to manage KPI much simpler ways. They were able to maximize work efficiency and productivity. 
uh, they were able to reduce task management time down to a tenth of the previous time. And also by standardizing, standardizing their business process, they were able to expand to 22 branches in 10 countries in just seven years. Uh, the next company is Personnel Consultant Manpower Thailand. And to highlight on the challenges is that previous system which they were using slowed down because of data capacity and maintenance was high. They could not standardize workflow and the system missed necessary functions for recruitment. They implemented HR Business Cloud and the results were they were able to handle huge amounts of data and still maintain high performance. HR Business Cloud is specialized for recruitment uh, businesses and therefore they were able to easily classify their data, which played a big role in their good search results. Uh, the next one is example from domestic market in Japan, which is Daijob. A Daijob company wanted to standardize their workflow in recruitment process to facilitate training of new consultants and increase individual's productivity of each consultant. They implemented HR Business Cloud, and as a result, they achieved an increase in revenue to 197% as compared to the previous year, while the individual productivity increased to 157%. And the last success story I will introduce to you is also from uh, Japan. The company is called Global Power. Uh, previously, they used to use Excel and FileMaker to manage the job seekers information. And then they developed an in-house tool, but it was missing the features that they really needed for the recruitment. So they decided to find a software that was specialized for recruitment business. They implemented HR Business Cloud and the results were that they increased work efficiency uh, the metrics tasks that could take a whole day were reduced to one to two hours. Next, I'm going to introduce to you some of the tips our clients have implemented and experienced an increase in their productivity, especially during this period of work from home. Is your company implementing some practices to increase productivity? If yes, this is a good opportunity to add some more activities. And if no, it is also a good opportunity to try out some of these approaches. And the first tip is using HR Business Cloud as a business development tool. It is important to do business development, especially during this time uh, of the pandemic, because uh, most companies have experienced a shrinkage in the amount of job orders they handle. And therefore, we need to have activities to be able to increase the chances of getting new job orders. So for our clients, they utilize a HRBC phase, color setting, and ranking functions on HRBC to optimize business development. Uh, they do it in this way. First, they prioritize the target client list and strategize the approach. And how to prioritize is you look into your database for the clients that you are registered there, you find those ones that you have uh, active jobs with, those ones that you do not have active jobs with, those ones that you have past success with, and those ones that you do not have any success with. And then the client, the new client list that you're yet to approach or that you're yet to make any progress with, and the ones that you have contacts with or not. So based on this information, you can prioritize your list. Uh, let's say you can rank them up like S, A, B, and C. S and A being those companies that you are likely to have uh, communication, easy communication with to be able to get a new job order. And B, C, meaning those companies that may be a little bit challenging, not impossible, but a little bit challenging to be able to get a new job order with. Once you have your list ready, you can search jobs published in job boards by those on your target client list. So if you find that this 
client on your target list has published a job on the job board, job board. At the next stage is to contact or to reach out to the HR contact in your list regarding these jobs. And if you do not have the contact of this HR person, then it's an opportunity for you to expand your network socially. Since you have the company name, you know the jobs that they've published on the job, job boards, you can approach them on a social network, for example, LinkedIn, to connect with them and to maybe uh, create a platform where you can start a business development talk to meet the potential hiring managers from other target companies and also to just uh, be in touch with these people because uh, they are your potential path to getting new job orders. So these activities are to increase chances of getting new job orders for your company to uh, be able to maintain performance during this uh, period of the pandemic. And the next tip is uh, using HR Business Cloud as a matching tool. A HR Business Cloud has a matching function that could match from job to candidate and also from candidate to job. So the tip here is to prioritize your job orders and work on them in order of those that are more likely to convert into sales. And uh, how you can prioritize that is that those job orders that have a larger candidate database or those ones that have fewer bottlenecks become your high priority. And those ones that have uh, more bottlenecks in the recruitment process or smaller candidate base become your lesser priority. Once you prioritize them like that, uh, you can use the HRBC auto matching function to find candidates for these particular job orders. How it works is that the job order requirements are automatically matched with candidates experience and you get results in a list. The goal for this uh, is to capture all available database to achieve high quality matching results, speedy process, and increase efficiency and productivity in your recruitment business. The third tip is about candidate registration using CV passing. Resumes in form of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, text are automatically analyzed and imported into HRBC. Up to 10 files can be passed at a time. And uh, once the file has been passed, you can have access to the editable version of the information where you can add or delete some information before importing into HRBC. And this process of uh, CV passing takes about a minute to get your data into HRBC. Uh, because CV passing greatly reduces CV data entry time, it contributes towards work efficiency. Otherwise, a consultant will have to do manual information entry and the time spent will depend on the speed of the consultant and the experience, which could lead to a lot of time being wasted on just doing the data entry. And therefore, HRBC is quite convenient for this aspect. As a bonus point, I would like to introduce to you Zillos. This is an application to easily and conveniently set candidate meetings. So this is how it works. First, from HRBC, you generate the link, then share the link with the candidate. The candidate receives a calendar schedule where they can select the interview dates and time. And then this information is automatically saved in HR Business Cloud. And the calendars is also a booked, whether you're using Outlook or Gmail, and then notification also sent by email. If you don't use this, this application, you will have to go back and forth between emails, calendar, to confirm your availability, and to try to match it with the candidate's availability, which consumes a lot of time. And therefore this makes this, this process very seamless, very smooth and very convenient. In conclusion, I would like to sum up the presentation in three points. 
A digital transformation is necessary for recruitment businesses, especially with work from home. There are challenges in the journey of digital transformation. However, they can be overcome. There is a high benefit for recruitment businesses to adopt digital transformation. But as a company, how can you win? You need a digital tool that will drive you to your goals. We welcome you to try HR Business Cloud. You can visit our booth where you can access more information about our services. You can download materials and you can also leave us your feedback. We will be very glad to hear from you. We also welcome you to send us email or visit our website where you can book a free demo or make other inquiries regarding our services or just to see what kind of services we offer for more information. Once again, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope it was an informative session and that you gained some ideas on how you can win with the acceleration of digital transformation in your recruitment business. Good day.